2018. And so I was thinking about last year, I did a things to leave in 2017 video. And I talked a lot about things to leave in 2017. And I probably will do a things to leave in 2018 video. But before I do that, I just thought I just traveled back home from Memphis from burying a loved one. And I just thought that I would jump on and instead of doing a video, it was just placed on my heart that I should pray. And as you guys know, I tell you all the time, I'm a really, really big prayer girl. I believe in praying. I talk to God all the time. But I want to also pray for you guys. And I just want to pray what has been placed on my heart. So that is what I am going to do. So I just want us to all just kind of take a minute and just breathe and just really think about the goodness of God and the goodness of God in our lives. And I'm not talking about, you know, God bless me with this big house this year. God bless me with all this money this year. But I'm talking about just life in general. And it is nothing like somebody passing to make you really realize and really understand what life is and how important life is. And it really shouldn't be that way. Like we should every day understand that life is so important. And every day that we're blessed with another day to breathe, God has given us another chance to have the things that we desire and to do the things that we want to do and to change our lives. And we are just so blessed to have another day. So I just want you guys to take a moment and think about those things. And I just want to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you right now. I come to you thanking you for everything that you are, everything that you've been, and everything that you will be in our lives. I thank you for just one more day to say thank you. I thank you, Lord, for the hills, the valleys, the mountains. I thank you for the trials and the triumphs, Father. I thank you for every single thing that you've done for each and every person listening to this prayer and each and everything that you are going to do. I thank you for blessing our families, our homes, our jobs, our careers, our parents, our, our children, our families. I thank you, Lord, for the abundance that you have allowed to reign in our life. Not just abundance in money, but abundance in health, abundance in love, abundance in wealth, abundance in self-love. I thank you for the abundance that you've allowed to reign in our lives. I thank you for giving us the power to create the lives that we truly deserve. And I thank you for allowing us to know that just if we have the faith, the size of the mustard seed, if we can just endure that you are on the other side of whatever we feel may be in the way, making the way for us. I thank you for the power that you've given us to speak life. I thank you for the power that you've given us to command our angels. I thank you for the angels that you have allowed to have charge over us in all of our ways, no matter what those ways are, that our angels stand beside us and they guide us and they walk with us. I thank you, Father, for the people that you have put in our paths to encourage us this year. I thank you for allowing us to form bonds of love and friendships and sisterhoods and brotherhoods, Father. I thank you for allowing us to be the light in the middle of the darkness. I thank you, God, for allowing us to come together to have supreme health, supreme wealth, wealth, sustainable wealth, to have supreme love. I thank you for allowing us to go farther, to do more, to be more, to have more. I thank you that your word never ever fails. I thank you for the ancestors and the loved ones that you've allowed to go before us. I ask that you look on those that are grieving through this season, Father. I ask that you look on those that need friendship, that need love, that need companionship. I ask that you look on those that might be alone tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I ask that you bless them and allow them to know that they are never, ever truly alone. I thank you, God, because I know that you are an awesome God. I know that you are a way 
decision-making God. I know that you are a heart regulator. I know that you are a mind fixer. I know, Father, that you are a prosperous God, that you are an unlimited God, and that you are the same God of Moses and Daniel and Abraham. I know that you're the same God of Isaiah. I know that you're the same God of Jonah and Job. I know that what you did for them, you will do for us. And I thank you. I thank you for allowing us to be awake, Father. Awaken who you are, who you truly are in our lives and who you will truly be. I just thank you tonight, Father. I thank you. I thank you for every hill, every mountain, every valley. I thank you, Lord, for every single thing thing in my life. I thank you for all the people who listen to my podcast, for all the people who watch my YouTube. I thank you for them becoming not fans, but family, friends. I thank you for the bonding. For you say where two or three are gathered together in your name, you shall be in the midst. And we stand on that word. I stand with them today. I stand with them in the creation of whatever their heart desires because you said that you shall provide the desires of a heart and that you will do exceedingly more than our minds can even imagine. We thank you for that today, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We come to you humbly knowing that you are and we thank you in the name and through the power of Jesus Christ. So be it, so it is. So be it, so it is. So be it, so it is. I just want you guys to know that I truly, truly love you. And when I say that I love you, I love you. And I am so thankful for each and every one of you. And I just cannot wait (laughs) to see the marvelous things that 2019 has in store for us. I can't wait to meet you guys face to face next year. I just cannot wait to see how God is going to move in our lives next year because we are going to manifest some great things and we are going to have a prosperous, wonderful, amazing, dynamic breakthrough year. I stand on that for all of us. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Have a great, happy, safe New Year. Don't do too much of nothing. All right. Bye for now.